I'm Jonalon Davis. Welcome to my studio. I'm so glad you could come by today. Let me see if I can find my key and we can go inside. It might take a little bit. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. Here it is. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time to go see how I work. Oh, wait a second. I can't paint in this. This is my favorite silk jacket from Sejo, China. I'm going to change first. I get feedback about my work and one thing that people have said to me over and over is when they get to live with one of my paintings and see it again and again they start to notice more and more things about it so one thing for instance in this painting is these golden ribbons that run through it depending on the time of day some might be more brightly lit where they're thicker and more textured or they might be softer then there's also areas of these deep purples and blues and greens that bring you into the painting and carry you past the flowers that are in the foreground. Welcome to my fairy tale world. This painting is called Flowers Everywhere. And that's where they are. They're in the sky, they're in the center, and they're growing up from the ground, all meeting together, enjoying life. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's called Health and Happiness. And it was the key piece for the whole Health and Happiness collection of paintings. What you might notice is all the big blue fresh air in the sky. And also, peppermint is a great herb for health. And so I've done some peppermint flowers. Also, all the layers that go inside a flower and everything that blooms together creates health and happiness. This entire painting was done over several months with a brush this big. This painting is called Peaceful Garden. It's a different palette. It's very pastel and very light and beautiful. And it started out with the idea of a sketch that I did first. And you can see this flower here kind of matches up with this sketch here. And that was the motivation for almost the entire painting. And then it took on its own life on canvas. The sky in this painting is influenced by the white and indigo porcelain that you find in China. And when I was there, I had a chance to see some exquisite antique examples of that. And so it's made its way into my painting. Imagine waking up in your bedroom and there's golden light coming in through your window. By the Golden Window is one of my favorite paintings. The background, which is a geometric layers of golden color, was done years ago. And then I recently painted this motif of flowers on top. You can see that there's a mixture of design style flowers and more three-dimensional growing flowers. And what I like about that is it blends reality and fantasy into one painting. She loves me, she loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. We've all played that game before in our front yard, pulling out the petals out of the flowers to find the answer. What's interesting about this painting is that it's a game. I've played the game of the daisy chain. It's running off the edges of the canvas, yet all the flowers are staying within the composition and are keeping pure love on the canvas. That's the title of this painting, Pure Love. The white texture in the background was all carefully planned. It was all done after the flowers were painted. And one of my favorite flowers in this entire large painting is right here. Many of my paintings start out with drawings. So what I did in this painting was I decided to do the drawing not in pencil or charcoal, but in actual paint. 
So the beginning of this piece was done with orange and turquoise. And the entire painting was drawn in these two colors. And then I got to fill it in any way that I wanted. I played on Photoshop for a little bit before I decided what I wanted to do. Another key factor about this painting, not just the little ladybug here, but we also have a butterfly going to the flower and the flower going towards the butterfly. What's interesting about the two forms here is they are strictly left unpainted. I wanted to really stress the fact that art is based on line and form and shape and then when you intertwine things, they become whatever you'd like in your imagination. The blue sky brings on season's beginnings, the name of this painting. Welcome home. You've just come home and your garden is blooming as you walk up the steps into your house. That's what this painting's about. It takes your eye in steps. Whether you're going into your home or going to a neighbor's home or you're welcoming somebody else into your home, each one of these flowers represents a person, a friend, or somebody you care about. What I love about this piece is some of the grids that happened that are almost like fences. They could be windows, doors, and there's even some tiny grids built into some of the leaves. into this first section of my studio where I keep my drawing table and a lot of my inspiration. So I'll do some sketches first. I'll also take a look through some of my textbooks just to remind me a little bit about floral forms on wildflowers. Um, I like to mix it up with even just some, you know, motifs possibly from uh, textiles and fabrics. And then I will do, you know, some small sketches and drawings. So this painting is called Copper Garden and it has lots and lots of texture to it. It was started over a year ago. It's one of my largest pieces that I've ever done. And what I like about this painting process is sometimes I just let myself kind of go in and out of the past and the present and it's a little bit of a struggle between the abstract and the floral. In this particular case, this area down here that I'm still developing is layers and layers of paint that became um, crisscrossed and then uh, you know colors laid on top of it still allowing there to be a floral form yet then I will go back in and delineate it as a specific floral form. Even things like this can take on a life of its own as a flower even though there are more uh, clearly defined flowers among it. Same thing with the centers here. I really like that interplay of 
uh, reality versus um, possibly sketching and fantasy. This latest studio that I have is that I can paint three paintings at once. So I can take a color that I have left over on this palette and then bring it over to another painting and add it to that. So it's been a really good way for me to work in three different styles at three different times. However, I still only complete one painting at a time and I will not go in and complete another painting until another one is done. Well, that's my day in the studio. So I'll be leaving now and going home to my family, but I'll be back tomorrow. Huh, you know what? Maybe this will be my adventure that I start on tomorrow. <laughs>